Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Eat Akimas. I'm Chad. I'm Justin. And this week we're doing sandwiches. Sandwiches. From what kind of sandwiches? Well, these come from the convenience <laughs> store. Uh, they are pretty yummy, and usually you get them when you're drunk. Indeed. So, what is this sandwich? This is about your most basic you can buy sandwich. It has lettuce, ham, cheese, and mayonnaise. So it kind of looks like a BLT minus the tea. toast. <laughs> <laughs> so this is on very delicious, soft, yummy bread. I think these get made every day fresh. Uh, Spartacus wants some too. Probably. <laughs> you can't have any. So the only thing I'm not a fan of is mayo, but you know. Well, Japanese mayo is supposed to be better than regular mayo, people say. That's good. Yeah. I mean, if you like regular mayo, that's a thing. So, uh, where where did you get these sandwiches? So, these came from the convenience store. I think these came from Lawson. From Lawson. Cool. They all pretty much have a uh, big selection of sandwiches you can buy. A lot of weird ones. Some really, really normal ones. This is about as normal as it gets. Yeah, this one seems fairly normal. Alright, well, let's try the sandwich. Alright, itadakimasu! Good. This tastes like a like a field trip sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Like Mama used to make. Yeah, when you go on a field trip at school. When you were in like third grade. Bag. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you get a sandwich. Field trip sandwich. So, yeah, pretty good. Very very basic cheesy uh, mayo-y taste. Is is there anything unique about it? You think, or is it? Uh, no, it's a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very, very fresh. The bread is very, very soft, oh. but not soggy, which is kind of cool. Oh, see, he got some. Get the mm. lettuce. I like that the bread doesn't get soggy. Even though there's a bunch of like lettuce and mayo and stuff, the bread is actually really good. It's like space bread. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Super Japanese space bread. Doesn't get soggy, but stays nice and fluffy. No, it's all natural. Don't believe him. I think, uh, yeah, I like the sandwich. It's pretty good. It's definitely good while you're drunk. Mm -hmm. I'm drunk. Uh, and I would say... Thumbs up, so yeah. you recommend it. If you say someone should go to Lawson and pick up one of the sandwiches. If you're coming to Japan to eat sandwiches out of the store, the hmm. convenience store, something's wrong with you. You're splurging a little bit. You're gonna to tone back your spending budget right there. So uh, if somebody gives you one of these when you're in Japan, I would eat it. It's delicious. But when you come yeah. to Japan, you might want to try something a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Unless you're just sick of the local cuisine and you just need something Americanized. I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah I would say go somewhere else, do something else. But as far as convenience store sandwiches, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, sandwich one down. Okie dokie. So for sandwich number two, we're looking at a katsu type of sandwich. And if our uh, Japanese reading is correct, it's a spicy chicken sandwich. Which I hope it is, because <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> so All this right. is like fried meat with sauce on bread. Yeah. Ah, and there's mayo and in what there. What else is in there? That's mayonnaise. Yeah, there's no lettuce or anything like that. No. It doesn't seem like. Though on the package, it looks like there is lettuce and a tomato. <laughs> But I think they lied to us. Mm. Well, it smells good. It There's smells no lettuce though. or tomato. It does smell like fried chicken, though. Mm -hmm. So this is probably pretty good. Uh, probably. That's another example of a uh, kind of sandwich you can get in a fast food convenience store. So a lot of people just, you know, go on their lunch break. Uh, every, everywhere is too crowded. They go to the convenience store, they get a sandwich. If their wife is not nice enough to make them a lunchbox. <laughs> a little bento <laughs> box. Yeah. <laughs> So if you look at this thing, the chicken looks kind of layered or something. Oh, no, no, it's, it doesn't look like the greatest chicken. There's fat in there. It's okay. It's going to be good. Yeah, it looks pretty fatty. <laughs> you look pretty fatty. Yeah. <laughs> Eat the Hmm. Hey, it's certainly chicken. The part that didn't have any mayo that I just ate, very good. Pretty good. The sauce that's on there, delicious. It's not yeah, barbecue. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm surprised. It's not barbecue sauce. I don't know. It's a little bit mm. sweet. Yeah, not barbecue sauce, but... Uh, yeah, so again, 
I don't think you can go wrong. I don't think, well, there are a few sandwiches that are just like uh, obviously egg salad sandwich or something and if you don't like egg salad, maybe you won't like it. But most of the sandwiches at the convenience stores are really good. This is another one, very good. I don't notice any spice. You think it's spicy? There's no spice. There's almost a tingle of an aftertaste, almost. But, but not really. <laughs> As far as spicy goes. No, Maybe just the mayo was spicy mayo, I don't know. No, this one's a mystery. Okay, well, what do you think? Uh, I'm pretty torn between this one and the first one. Which one you like better, or? Yeah, because the first one's a, you know, your classic sandwich, can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this one's pretty good, even though the chicken looks a little funky, but. Yeah, I think typically I would rather have this one than the normal sandwich. There's way more to this one, it's more interesting, and we don't have a lot of fried food sandwiches in the States, so yeah, yeah. if you were going to get something and wanted to be a little bit unique about it. So you think it's good? It is very good. You'd recommend it? I would. Yeah, I guess I'll follow suit. I think it's pretty good. And as far as convenience store sandwiches go, if you can recommend a convenience store sandwich, it might <laughs> as well be this one. They are like $3 right. each. So. <laughs> yeah, so, so far two for two. <laughs> okay, so this is... Like a fruit salad sandwich, maybe. Yeah, uh, it's like a dessert sandwich almost. So there's a lot of fruit and some whipped cream in there. Yeah, so it's like if you just get done with your katsu sandwich. <laughs> and you want a dessert, <laughs> and you're like really into sandwiches a at the time. dessert sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> if you're really uncreative and you're just all about the sandwiches. I've dessert never had sandwich. dessert on bread before, but there's it looks good. It's full of whipped cream. It yeah. has like... I see kiwi, pineapple, pineapple strawberries, strawberry, melon, melon, apple. Yeah, I don't have a banana in somewhere. mine. Do you have banana? I don't see banana. So fruit salad, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. Should... Actually, to keep the fruit from changing color, yeah, uh, I don't even know, want fresh. to know what it's, they put on there. Either it's fresh, fresh or there's like lemon juice or something. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, and yeah, so then there's too. something else. This is either mayonnaise, probably not, uh, or custard. I think this is custard. Yeah, it's like yellow. It's gotta be custard, right? They wouldn't put mayo on a on a fruit sandwich. Yeah, right? Japan, <laughs> they wouldn't do that. They're well, we're hoping. Silly. So let's try our fruit sandwichy sandwich. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. No, pretty <laughs> pretty much exactly what you think this tastes like is what it tastes like. This is fruit on bread with like whipped cream, and I don't know if I taste the custard thing. It just makes me wonder, why would you eat this? Man? <laughs> why would you eat fruit in a sandwich? When you could just get a fruit bowl, or maybe some fresh fruit. It is really cool looking. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll give you that. It looks, looks decent enough. I... I don't know. It's really yummy. I think... I mean, the fruit tastes good. For the novelty yeah. factor, I would recommend this. Uh, just to say you ate fruit on bread one time, because that's kind of weird. Only in Japan, I think, you can find something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd recommend it, because it's... You just got to be like a sandwich fanatic to want to eat, <laughs> you know, a fruit sandwich. <laughs> Is it good, though? It's good, but you know what would be even better? A bowl of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Without the bread, but I guess this is maybe more train-friendly, perhaps. Yeah, finger food and... Whipped cream is good, so... Yeah, where a bowl of fruit maybe wouldn't go over so well on a train, I don't know. You're a bowl of fruit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I don't know, I guess it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna recommend it. Do recommend? You you're a man, or... Uh... I'm gonna say, if you are all about getting a dessert sandwich, it might as well be a fruit salad dessert sandwich. The best but, time. there's a lot of other better desserts, so... Uh, I, I'm not gonna recommend it, but I think it's pretty good. Don't sound like you're uh, very. I don't know where you stand on this one, maybe. I'm not too enthused, but at the same time, it's not a bad idea. I like it. I'll recommend it. Buy this if you come to Japan. Tell your friends you ate fruit on bread in Japan. Might as well, right? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Itadakimasu, where we did some convenience store sandwiches. And stay tuned for next week when we do some more tasty eats. Yummy yummies. <laughs> All right. So until next time. Sayonara. Sayonara.